All right, on to cutting the UTA. So there's several methods that you could use to cut the circles for the UTA. I'm gonna demonstrate two of those methods. Probably the most simple method, and depending on how many tools you have, you can usually pick up a jigsaw on Craigslist or on eBay for maybe 20 bucks. You could do both the inside and the outside of uh, the rings with nothing more than a jigsaw and then clean it up with a sander. Um, now what I'm gonna use the jigsaw for is to kind of rough cut the pieces of the UTA out so I can then take them over to the bandsaw because I prefer cutting the outside of the UTA on the bandsaw. Um, it's just the most efficient wood cutting machine in the shop. So if you'd like to watch, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this jigsaw and rough cut the UTA pieces out. Get a couple clamps. Safety glasses. Want to be able to view through the telescope ultimately. circles right now but there's our two UTA pieces I will take this over to the bandsaw and demonstrate how we cut the outside circles on the bandsaw now the bandsaw again is the most efficient wood cutting machine in the shop perfect for circles um, it's great for ripping it's great for a lot of tasks I think it's probably the most underutilized tool in the shop so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and set my throat down just over half an inch now I'll probably set it to about an inch. That way I've got a little bit of movement to get my curve nice and nice and round. So I'm going to cut on the outside of the outer line. That way whenever I'm cleaning up at my um, table sander, I can clean up to the line and I know I'm perfectly round on the outside. So we'll start now. Scrap. Here is the outside of the UTA. And as you can see there, I have left myself some meat so whenever I go over to the table sander, I can go to the line and I know that I'm perfectly round. Now I won't put you through the torture of making you watch another one of these bandsaw cutouts, so I'll do the next one alone. On to sanding, everybody's favorite task. So like I said, we'll take uh, one of the UTA pieces here, one of the rings. I'm going to choose the bottom ring, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the table sander to go right to the line I had initially made on the outside ring. So I'll show you how I do that. perfectly round UTA on the outside. Next we'll demonstrate how we cut the inside with a different tool. Now if you don't have a table sander like this, it'll save you a ton of time and you'll use it more than you could ever imagine once you do get one. You can also use just a uh, random orbital sander. I will show you if I know. Oh, it's right behind a fancy camera. So yeah, you can also use a random orbital sander. I would use like 80 grit and you would just go like this and slowly go around the uh, UTA. I've done that many, many times. Um, in fact, whenever I go to fine sand it, we'll go back to this. Start with about 120 grit since I started with 80 grit here on the table sander. It does take a lot longer. Um, your arm will get a really good workout, but uh, it's absolutely possible. So next, the inside of the UTA. <laughs> 